Okay, okay. Um, welcome. Let me turn that off. Okay. So today I'm going to quickly go through a little setup uh, as as fast as I can. I'm not well, not as fast as I can. I'm just at a at a usual speed. So I'm gonna go file new, and uh, I already saved this show. This is the tutorial show that we were working on, but now I'm gonna start fresh and brand new. Uh, I want gray just because I like it. Alright, so here we are. I'm going to patch in some heads. The heads that I have officially chosen have been Chauvet, Chauvet, however you say it. Um, <coughs> Chauvet is like a sister company to Camsys, which makes this. So, And what was it called? It was called the Rogue R2 Spot or Wash. Rogue R2 Washes, uh, 15 channel mode. And so now I'm going to patch these, and what I have is... There's like two smaller trusses on the left and the right, and then one bigger one with like more lights on it. So I'm going to say those smaller trusses have four lights each, and then the main big one probably has like five or six. Um, I'll probably say six. That's a good even number. So I'll have four on the left, four on the right. That's eight, and then plus six. Um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Wait, do I want to do six in the middle? Um, one, two, uh, well... I don't know. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do six. So, four and four, that's eight and six is, uh, think, uh, 16, right? No, 14, gosh. One second. Sorry, I'm readjusting my mic here. It's it's good now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got my R2 washes, and what did I say? I said 14, because um, we've got 6 and 4 is 10, and another 4 is 4. Yep. Um, and then I'll hit yes to get them in the visualizer. Okay, great. So now these first 4, and then the middle 6, and then the other 4 are going to be there. So now I'm going to go to view viz, and first of all, I will insert 3 trusses. Go to my visualizer. Scroll up so I can see all three. I don't know why they do that. Um, wait, are these the lights that I think they are? Let me double check because if not, I just messed up. Let me locate them, dim at full. Uh, yeah, 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 these are right because now they've got positions, they've got color, and then I think they have beams if I go to lay one. Yep. Uh, and, well, the beams are just the shutters, so that's that's nice. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I closed out the visualizer. Why am I so dumb? Okay, go to patch, um, go to view viz, attach objects, and then I'm going to edit these trusses. So truss one will be on the left. Um, I'm not going to rotate them or anything. I'm just going to move it over here. That's probably good. It'll be right there. Um, also, I think you can change the length of the trusses, right? Yeah, see, length 12. This is going to be probably 8. And then this one will also be 8. Just to make it, like, I don't know, a little more better looking. Oh, wait, this one's got to go all the way over here. And then this one's got to go over here. That's probably good. And then also, I'm going to bring these smaller ones down a little bit to y equals 9. And then this main one is just going to go up one, just like that. That's pretty good. I like that setup. Um, okie dokie. So now I'm going to go to Viz Heads. And then these four are going to be fit to trust one. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're going to be fit to trust two. And then these four are fit to trust three. And now I'm going to group them really quick. So this is going to be... Oh, before I even start doing anything, I need to do my macros. Inbuilt set. Inbuilt record. Inbuilt macro remove. Inbuilt macro copy. In, oops, inbuilt macro move, inbuilt macro clear, inbuilt macro fan, and inbuilt macro um, odd even. Yep, and now the other one that I like to do, so I'll hit start macro, and then I'll hit the exec window, and then I'll go back to my macro, and then hit end macro, and if you go to view data, it says exec pressed and released, which is perfect. Just to make sure that I had that right. Oops, go back to my macro, view macros, and then go here and first let me set this one to deck. 
And then this one is going to be... Now, okay, I am going to try something a little experimenty, so that I'm going to pause for a second. I mean, not stop the stream, but, you know, pause in real life. Um, so what I'm going to do is this next one is going to be start. I'm going to hit lay one and then go back to my macro and hit end. View data, layout one, perfect. So now I can set this one to just L1. Okay, and now I go over, now I'm going to use the arrow key so I don't actually click it. And then assign macro S for set. Well, hang on. Let me do assign macro and then shift S. Aha. So now it's the capital S for that one. So if I go shift S, I can now, okay. That's cool. So maybe that might be more helpful. Let me, let me try it real quick. Oh, what? When you do shift, it changes the icon. Okay, well, that kind of breaks it, though. I don't know why, but whenever I do shift S, the macro works, but it's setting the icon. So I have to figure out, maybe I can do control S instead, but that's probably mapped to something already. What about alt S? So let me go up and to... Um, Deassign macro and then assign macro alt s but it still just says s plus s and what i want it to be is alt s deassign assign alt s so now if i go s yeah it, it i just hit s and now it's doing what i wanted it to oops i can also i noticed you can type in all, and then it just kind of puts this in there. And now if I hit set and click it, it automatically names it to all. <coughs> but anyway, I'm, I guess I'll just stick to my, my regular one key thing because I don't know how to do it otherwise. That's weird because it seems like S plus S, it would let me do multiple things. But maybe let me try multiple, like Q plus S. So let me do assign, and then I'll hit Q and S simultaneously. So assign macro, Q and S. It still says just Q and Q. So assign macro, Q. Nope. Assign S. What the heck? What about F1? Whatever. No, it's just, that's S. Okay. Anyway. Forward is R. Remove is D. I'm spending way too much time on this when I already had a system in place. Move is M. Clear is C. Fan is F on even is O <coughs> exec is E and then L1 is going to be L okay so if I close out and I hit L1 well whatever okay so programmer cleared there's my all view head so 1 2 3 4 and then here and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then here and then one two three four and then here and so this is t1 this is t2 three oops three pressed e so see it pulls it up whenever you do that okay so t1 t2 t3 t t and then if i do o let me do uh dim at full why are they strobing? Oh, because it needs to be shut open. But that's odd, and then that's even. Yeah, that's good. I guess I could group them into, like, inside and outside on these, and then odd and even on, on these. I don't know. If I want to make more groups, I might. Um, well, hang on. All shut open. Or let me just do all locate so that they're all reset. But what I want to do is maybe on, like, T1... I'll take it and I'll do inside, or outside, and then inside, instead of odd and even. So I'll record here, and then I'll do um, what? one in. There we go. And then, or this is T1 in. Oh? I? 
I guess. So now if I go locate, it should be the outside and then inside. Perfect. That's cool. Um, and now I'll do the same thing with T2, except the inside are going to be these three. Actually, let me do odd and even. Dimmer at full. Is this good? Is this what I want? Yeah, I'll do that. Odd even. Even. So it automatically names those. But then this one's going to be the same way. So outside is this. And then inside is this. Port here. O. And then. In. Okay. So now if I do dim at full on these, I should see the outside and then the inside. Perfect. I guess I should just leave the visualizer open all the time. Or, I don't know. I barely use this side. Anyway, so now I've got my groups done. Um, okay. Oh, let's do a dimmer. So dimmer at full and then record here. And then I'll just name this to all dim. And then clear it out and then bring this fader up so that they're always there. Um, now let's do an effects speed master. So select all of these, record it here, and then I'll do FX speed, all of them. And then I'll go to function. I don't want it as an intensity master and I want it as a speed master. Okay. <coughs> I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to do positions. I mean, I'll keep these default ones, but I also want to do uh, on the next row some effect-based positions that might be cool. So I'm going to add an effect. I'll do position, and then usually I'll start out with burst one. And so burst one spreads everything out evenly, but I think if you do it like this, then they all go in sync with one another. Um, and then the speed, you want to set it to the maximum speed value that you'll ever want so i'm going to do like 0.1 or maybe something really fast i mean that's mega fast that's pretty cool so i like that i'm going to record this as an effect so i'm going to go down here i'm going to exit out of the program and bring up my effects here and record it here and i'll just call it burst one i might have different bursts and so now if i go to my visualizer um they're going like that but if i activate the speed fader now I can, so this is the max speed, but then I can slow it down to virtually like really slow like that. And so now, ooh, I really like that. I'm going to wait till they sweep forward. Hopefully they will. Um, let me speed it up a little bit. Yeah, like that. So bam, that's an epic position right there. That's the cross position. So now I go to active Make sure that they change, because if they don't change like that, which is weird, I don't know what it's doing, but anyway, if they don't change like that, then um, it's not actually going to save your position value. <coughs> okay, so now, bam, that is epic. So here, there's cross one, and so now, if I continue the effect, well, let me just clear the programmer, so now they're in cross position and then let me bring well I, I got rid of the effects so burst one again and now let me find a better position how about how about that one like cross up that's pretty cool um yeah I'll do that one so now go here and then active record it here cross up okay so now they're like so now if I clear the programmer, they're in that cross-up position. Okay, I'm kind of done with burst now, so let me add a different effect. Um, let me find another one that's fun. They kind of rearrange themselves sometimes. These weren't always in this area. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing. Uh, how about, well, there is literally cross, but how about figure of eight? Um, and so now let's get that speed up. I'm going to do 0 0.1. It's probably fast enough. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Um, well, let me for now slow it down a little bit just so I can see what they're doing. 
I'll be good. That's kind of cool. But anyway, what if I did no spread where they're all going in the same way? Well, that's kind of cool. There's another cross position. But let's do 50% spread to where now half of them are kind of all... Yeah, that's kind of cool. What if I did zero crossfade? Oh, so at this point, they just... Yeah, that kind of looks ugly. I want that to be 100. I mean, I like this as an effect. That's cool. You know, it's like... That's a cool sort of effect, but it's too much. There's just too much happening, I, I think. So I'm going to change the effect to something else. Probably spider. Now this, I want 0% spread <coughs> to get that symmetry. What if I slowed it down? Now, see, these are cool positions, and they're also crossed. That's a cool position. Um, in fact, I might keep that. Let me go ahead and record this position. And then now I have to clear it out. Ugh. Okay, so add effects, position, spider. And now what I wanted to do is make this like point 0.1. Make this a little faster. Spread 100. Well, now they're... Why aren't these moving? Clear it out. All locate. Go back to normal. And now what I want... What do I want? Add effects, position, spider. Now they're all moving. Okay, great. And so now, let's do point one. So it's mega fast. And what if I turn crossfade to zero? That's cool. That's actually a cool effect. They're just some nice, like, like that, that's cool. And then if you slow it down enough. Uh-oh. That's kind of weird. What if I did 50? You made it faster. Or 100. I think this point one second is just too fast and it can't run through the full effect. I did one second. What does the effect do? Well, no, that's the whole thing. That's weird. So let me do point one. What if I did point oh one? Ten times faster. Point one. Well, anyway, I'll just record this to have. This is a spider. All right, but I don't I don't see any cool positions out of that. What about zigzag? Ooh, I could get some cool things. So let's do no spread, so they're all zigzagging the same way. And oh, that's kind of cool. I think if you do, if you go to view plot, no, that's the wrong thing. View heads, LTP locate, no. View plot, view elements. There's a way to do this. Well, anyway, so here's this plot. I don't know if I showed this in the last one. Pretty useful. Anyway, this is a boring effect. But if I go to View Plot, and then I go to uh, View Heads, I guess, you can do uh, Focus on Target, and then you click, and they'll all focus wherever you clicked. And so I think if you Shift-click, no, that's... So focus on target, and then let me click here. And so now all of these focus onto one thing. If you don't want them all going like that, you can use this focus line thing in my bobber and then move it around. I don't know why I can't see it. But then you can like see you can adjust how it goes. Sometimes they'll glitch and they'll like they'll rotate around like that. Um so I'll probably just do like a, a spread across the stage. Or maybe like something like that. 
and then get this in the middle. And then that's just like spread. And you can select which ones you want. So if I do view elements, I think I can or view heads. Anyway, you can deselect all, and then I can select like these, focus line, and now these are going to focus on their own. But I'm going to just try. Well, that was a mistake because deselect all. Let me go. I have to do that again, don't I? View plot. Uh, focus line. Gonna back in the middle. There we go. Okay, so now I'll just do record here and then change whatever. Um, and then I'll do one more. Let me do a lift effect, I guess. Add effects position. Let me do tilt to dim. Tilt dim. Oh yeah, this is a cool effect. Um, and regardless, see they'll sweep through the position that they're already in. So if I go to center, they should all just sweep to center, just like normal. Um, but the, I don't think that affects the effects. So I go back to my programmer window, and now I want this to be 0.1, mega fast. Oh, yeah. Uh, crossfade, if I do zero, it should be one at a time. Um, let me slow them down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and then I think... Spread if I did zero. Oh, that doesn't work. They just go all at once. <coughs> um, I wish I could get them a little brighter, but that's fine. So, I like that. That's a cool effect. I'll do that. Record, bam, and then I'll do set... Tilt dim. I don't see any positions out of here, obviously. So now I'm going to clear the programmer, add a new effect, position. I'll just do tilt regular. Now tilt sine is might be a little different. Yeah, so they'll tilt in a sine wave when you project each light like down onto the XY plane or whatever. Um, they'll just follow the sine wave. Now if I do point 0.1... Um, they just do it like that. That's pretty cool. I like that. What if I did a hundred size? Oh, now they just go all the way. But anyway, I kind of... There's not any good positions out of this, and I'm mainly just looking for some positions. So I'm going to clear it. Um, Go all, add effects, position. I'll do the regular tilt. So now, although I don't necessarily... I'm not too... Well, no, I'm sorry. When I was saying about that sine wave thing, that's just... The way it looks right now, if that makes sense. Um, that's not what the tilt sign thing does. That's what the, the tilt does, no matter what. So let me do mega fast. So then when, they, when you have the speed all the way up, they just wiggle. So this one you would definitely... In fact, let me, let me do this to where it looks a bit better. So like if I did 0.5, <coughs> that might be good. But what I kind of want is all of them, so I don't want any spread, and if I can do the size to 100, they should go higher, right? 0.1. And then if I slow it down, yeah. So I want them doing that if I did one second. Is that enough? I guess they, the, the heads physically can't move all that fast. So I guess I could do, I don't know. What if I did like center in the direction? It doesn't actually matter that much. So anyway, um, let me get yeah, that's fine. That might work. Um, I'll I'll leave it like that because now I can take it real down low and it just goes slow. So now let me get them on, you know, just up front a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, and now I'm going to take their position and then their pans. I'm going to fan them. Um, I'll fan them outwards. And then record that too. 
that one, and then I'll pan them inwards, maybe even, like, really far in. Oh, that's cool. It makes a circle. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And set here. Okay. That's cool. Clear the programmer. So now we have this cross position. That's cool. Cross up. So going from cross to cross up is already a neat little effect. And then spider. That's cool. With those going out like that. Stage. They just all whip around right there. Fan out. And then fan in. And it seems to only affect my pans. So now I can... I think I can do cross fan out. And now that's a different position. So like I was saying earlier, you could do that pan and tilt stuff. I was mainly doing that just because... But this one, if I go view palette... Yeah, it only took that pan values. So I should probably move these over here. There we go. Okay, so now... Let me clear everything out and just locate them to normal. Um, okay, I've got a few effects. Well, these are position effects. Now let me move into uh, dimmer effects. Um, and then after that, we'll do color effects, because then I'll use some soft palettes, which I didn't talk about in the last thing. Um, they're pretty simple. Uh, so all add effects um, intensity. So first, I'll do a dim chase. There should have been a random dim chase, but that's fine. Point 0.1 dim chase. Um, I don't know why. It's not a random dim fa chase. If I did 0x fade, well then that... Oh yeah, that's cool. And then size, if I do 75... What I kind of want is... I want like each section to be lit up, but that's too that's too much. So I think a hundred is the biggest as I can get it. If I did zero percent spread, now it's just a strobe. What if I did fifty? Yeah, I like I like a hundred. <coughs> um I guess on, on my other computer, there is a, it's called a random dim chase, and it's like, they randomly will, you know, it picks a random light to do this, and I don't understand. But I could also do the direction to be center in, that's cool, but I'll show you how you can do this in the exec window, and then just make it on the fly. I think I remember how to do it. Um, but then you could do like... Weird stuff. Yeah, so see, this is probably how they get those weird ones. Center out. I like center out. That's cool. Odd even. Okay, even odd. Yeah, that's probably it. Left to right. And then segments. Invert. I'm just playing with these. Oh, invert, odd even, invert. Okay. That's probably where that randomness comes in. Yeah, that's that random one. So there we go. Um, it's just... I mean, this isn't exactly the random one. Because it's, it's very patterned. But it kind of looks random. So I'll go with it. Um, I'll record it down here. And then I'll... Mm, dim. Um, and then I'll do an... All... Um, programmer... Here we go. Now I can just change this back to forward. And then I'll do this as a uh, regular dim, I guess. Face. Okay. And so now that's cool. So now if I do all burst one and then dim chase. Now, or maybe random dim. And maybe spider. You know, I can switch between these. And now they're doing... They're they're doing crazy stuff. Oh, and now I can do the tilt dim, and then, and then dim chase, and, oh, they overwrite each other. So, see, now it's just doing the tilt dim. So, if I did random dim and then spider, I can slow it down a little bit, and now it's just, it's chill, and, and it's like, it's 
pretty it's pretty cool you know and then whenever it hits hard it's like but if it if it ever did hit mega hard i would probably do something like this because it's very symmetrical and then have a dim chase going i don't know it's just like i'd have to adjust the timings <coughs> a little bit um, okay, so that's good. Now let's do some color effects, I guess. I'm kind of tired of this, though. I'll keep going for a little bit. Exec. Uh, I'll do 15 by 15. I've got a big monitor, so I can... Oh, maybe not. That's mega small. Nah, I will do... Oops. If you hold shift, you clear regions like that. But anyway... Um, I'm going to do set grid size. Uh, if, you, if you do 0 by 0, it, yeah, it resets it. Um, there we go. And now, see, that's way bigger than 15 by 15. Like, just adding 5 makes it crazy. Okay. So now, I can go back and forth between my executive window with a button press, which makes it very nice for copying things over. <coughs> um, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to select all my heads I'm going to make the color white and then I'm going to record that into here and if you go into view palette it's this is linked to the white one which means if I updated the white color it would update this one so I'm going to unlink it um, somehow unlink palette now it just has the specific values so you're basically making dummy colors and if you hold if you press s and then shift click um, or maybe you have to shift press set yeah you press shift and then set and now you have all these color icons I would recommend selecting the rainbow it automatically did it for me but anyway these are going to be temporary colors that are basically going to be used to, uh, so that we can do color effects on the fly. Um, so first, let me name this um, TMP1 for temp1, or I'll do, I'll do one. temp1, and then I'll record another one here and another one here, and then two, and then temp three. Now you want to make sure that these are unlinked, so view palette unlink. Because that way, if they're if they you know if they're temporary, um, and they're linked to another temporary one, then changing the the first temporary one changes the next one. But anyway, so that's it. Now these are legitimate colors, and they're actually just white. So if you accidentally click them here, it'll just be white, um, or whatever you you know. Some people they'll make them completely black so that they don't do anything. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up our execute window. So first, let me show you what an effect. A color effect looks like regularly so I'll do the th uh, I usually have three temporary colors because that's the most you should ever need if you want you can do a four color effect but three color for example I might do white red and yellow and so now if I go to my uh, visualizer now I have basically a little dim chase of the white red and yellow and then if I make this um, point one um, and then speed it up now you know see they're going they're going crazy um and so that's good if i did like zero percent spread they would just flash in between those colors but at 50 i think you see a little less of that wave like i like the wave sometimes uh you can mess with this add value so uh i think plus doesn't do much minus it depends on if your intensity is on but absolute value is usually good um and so then what we're going to do is we're going to take, I think if you do the width to be 100, I don't know. Um, excuse me. I don't know exactly what all this stuff does. I just play with it, and then it works. Um, and so, anyway, you could also change the direction again. Center in, center out. And see, changing these directions can make these effects completely different, which is really important. Um, and so, uh, I'm, let's see. <coughs> okay. Anyway, one second. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, but anyway, this is cool. But imagine if these colors right here were um, the clear. 
what if, what if those colors were temp colors? So pull up your, um, I'm going to go ahead and copy, oops, copy, yep, uh, I'm going to copy these all ones, paste them here. I also need to copy my colors, sorry, I have to reach around my microphone. Um, anyway, let me copy all these colors to the one, probably don't need UV, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to get rid of, like, UV. Well, what does UV look like? Yeah, that's kind of lame, because, I don't know, it's like purple. In fact, pink and magenta are so similar. Let's get rid of that. So now I'm going to move these up here, and then move UV here, and then magenta there. And so there we go. Now, what we can also do is throw in into the mix are two temp colors. So I'm actually gonna make this 12 by 10. I have two extra spaces. And now, I'm, or I need three, oh well. There we go. So now I've copied these over, and if I make this a region, set region, and then I change these to link, what it'll do is now, if I select colors here, oh shoot, I did that wrong. Okay, let's delete these. Okay, so we need, instead of those heads, um, we need the, uh, let me go back here, yeah, instead of the heads, we need the three colors. I'm going to copy these right here. And then get rid of the uh, pink one. Okay. So now, if I set each of these to a region, um, why are these doing this? Anyway, and then link, link, link. You'll see it has this S. Oh, this one doesn't have the link. Now, okay, great. So now that it's linked, all these colors are now updating temp 1, temp 2, temp 3. <coughs> so then, if I come into all, um, let me make them, or let me locate all just to get them back to normal, and let me disable this. So if I go to add, a, uh, excuse me, add effects, let me go to three color, temp one, oh shoot, cancel. Add effects, I did three color position, I need three color, temp one, temp two, temp three, Okay. And then modify your parameters, so I'll do 0.1 second. And now, if I go to my execute window and I turn this up, nothing really happens. If I make temp1 red, it should work. Amber, yellow. Oh, I know why. We have to copy the, uh, the heads over so it knows which heads to do it. Um, it's kind of weird. You can read the manual. You want? Sorry, my, my mic gain is low, so if I turn my head, it sounds like I go wee off into the distance. But anyway, um, paste it there. There we go, and now I set these regions. Actually, let me clear region and do it again, because I think I double stacked regions or something. I've had glitches like that. So now if I go, let's do green, yellow, red, or red, green, and blue. Um, and now I think it should work. So these are my soft palettes. If I go to all, let me clear it out. All, add effects, color, three color, temp one, temp two, temp three. There we go. So now... Because I did red, green, and blue, and the cross fades up, it'll fade through them, and now it's a rainbow. And so, 
automatic. That's a rainbow effect. But you don't... In fact, hang on. I can make a default rainbow effect. <coughs> so let me do that really quick. Um, you just go to add effects, color, three color, and then you do red, green, and blue. And then I'll do point 0.1, and there they go. And then I'll record that into my effects window. Effects. Record here. rainbow um, and there we go but let me clear it out I'll go add effects color now I'll go three color temp one temp two temp three and it's gonna be the same thing but now point one if I do that let me record that here and then I'll call it three color and now I think if I clear it and then I go to three color. Now, if I update these to white, 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 and I go back and hit three color, it should update. I don't know why it's not. What? What did I do? I mean, obviously, it, it works. Three color, white, white, white. And then if I go back to the execute, and I go green, cyan, blue, three color, there we go. So... I don't know why it's not updating. If I go blue, blue, blue. Maybe I need... Let me do this. Let me do FX. Let me copy this. Bring it here. Maybe that's what I need to do. Set region. Set region. Set region. Now if I clear it out. Back to white. And now it's cyan, cyan, cyan. So I do three color, and then I go to execute. And if I change this, I don't understand why it's not working. I did it on my other computer. Let me pull that up. I'll be right back. file on my other the file on my other computer didn't save so I don't remember exactly how it's done I guess I am going to be right back because uh, I need to go to the bathroom and I'm also going to look up the website that I found to learn this and then I'll show you here so you don't have to jump around the internet if I don't know I'll be right back
Okay, I am back, and I am ready to go. So let's go back here. I think I figured it out. First, let me delete these. Okay. Let me get rid of this FX speed palette. So what you do first is you take your all group. And I'll put them at the end here. Oops. Uh, layout one. Take my all group here. All the three. Um, then take the three temp colors from here. Then take your actual colors. Um, there we go. Get rid of pink. I can actually move them. Okay. I guess I could have left pink. And then... There we go. Make these three... Oops, clear everything out. Make these three link. And then go to set region. Set region with your heads included. Oops set region. So now we have our three temp colors. This is exactly the way that they said to do it. And now if I go to add effects, let me turn up the speed uh, color. I'll do three color, temp one, temp two, temp three, and then I'll leave it at 2.4 just to see what it looks like. So now they look like that, and I have no idea what temp one and temp two are. So if I do white, 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 and then red. What? Why is it not working? This is big garbage. This is ridiculous. If I go to my three color effect, it should do that. And, okay. So now, if I go to my execute window, red, amber, yellow, green. So go all amber, and it doesn't do jack squat so if I copy this over here and if I clear it out well shoot now let's locate them <coughs> so then if I hit three color that does that if I make them red yellow cyan well now it's doing that but it's not updating as I click it, which is weird. Let me Google this. Emsys soft palettes. Hello, welcome to Kansas Smash tutorial. This one we have a quick look about how to apply. I'm not gonna watch a tutorial on the live stream. That's the point of this. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna stop this. Stop that. Clear the programmer and go home. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Uh this isn't the um, one day when I'm actually motivated, I'm going to sit down, start from scratch, kind of like this, but then I'll have everything figured out on what I want to do, and then I'll do it, and then I'll run the show, or, you know, a part of it, and show you, you know, anyway.